What's going on everybody? This is Brandon Hill. And usually on my videos, you're used to seeing the machine right here, but we've changed that up today. We got the keyboard here because I'm gonna share the top 15 keyboard and mouse shortcuts that you could use in the machine software. Sometimes it's faster to use the keyboard and the mouse as opposed to using the machine controller. And my last video is on machine controller shortcuts. So check that out if you want. So let's dive into these shortcuts. Before we dive in, I just want to say that I'm not going to cover the basic ones such as uh, Command C, Control V, which is copy and paste, or uh, Control X, which is to delete, for example. So starting off with the first one, using Command and one or two will allow you to toggle between Ideas Mode and Song Mode here. Command 1, Ideas Mode, Command 2, Song Mode. And this will really become useful once you start arranging. You have your song laid out here, maybe you want to go change a pattern, so you're going to go Command 1. Okay. Shortcut number two is that you have this resolution down here for the grid and right now it's in 1 16th notes. So if I were to click in notes, it'd be 1 16th. And you might know that you could change this here to one bar or two bars or whatever, or one bar, one fourth bar, 1 16th for example. But the keyboard shortcut here is that you could use these numbers to change the resolution. So watch this resolution as I press one to change it to one bar, two does half bar, three does a quarter, Okay, and so forth. So you could change the resolution like that, change it back to what you want. And also to take it off the grid, which is the same as deactivating this hashtag, you, you could press zero and that'll trigger that. Now you can move your notes, for example, freely on the grid, but we'll keep that on. Let's do that, change this back to 1 16th. Shortcut number three is that you could bring up the mixer by hitting tab. So hit, a, hit tab, you could go to the mixer view, hit tab to exit mixer view. So that's a really quick way. If you need to hurry up and mix something and you wanna go back and adjust your pattern, toggle through that. Shortcut number four is to show and hide the browser. So sometimes you need more real estate right here if, if your pattern is longer. And what you could do to hide this browser is hit F4 on your keyboard, F4. So now you have a much cleaner workspace. If you need to find something, bring it back up, do that, hide it again. Let's say we're working on this melodic element here and shortcut number five is that you could bring up the keyboard like that automatically by pressing W. So imagine uh, you're doing this, imagine that this is an instrument, you go to W and now you can start in the keyboard for right there. Over here, let's say you had a bunch of sounds but you wanna edit this bass sound to sound like this. You could go W and start editing this bass line. Okay. Another easy one, turn the metronome on and off. You could press M and you can see up here in the software when I press M, metronome is now activated. You could hear it and then I could press M to turn it off. So that's really quick. Shortcut seven to turn looping on and off. Imagine that you have these scenes right here. Let's say you have, imagine that these are all different scenes. To turn looping on and off, you could press L. Now you have this loop right here. You could turn it off by pressing L, press L, drag it over. Now when you replay, it's gonna restart from this loop or over here. And then you could drag your loop like that to loop the whole thing. And then if you wanna turn loop off, just press L. Shortcut number eight is that you could quickly rename things by using the shortcut command R. So imagine this pattern, we want to change it to uh, drums one or something like that. You could uh, press command R. Let's do baseline. This could help you quickly name and organize things. Let's rename this scene right here. Same thing. Command R and same with group as well. Shaker loop. So if you're the type of person that likes to rename everything and reorganize, get used to using command R because it'll allow you to quickly do all of that. Another useful one for shortcut number nine is to use control A to select all. So imagine if you want to delete this rather than going like this, which you could do, right? You could just hit control A, delete, right? So get used to using control A because that'll allow you to select a lot of things. Shortcut number 10 is that you could copy patterns by holding option on your keyboard and dragging. So right here, I did that. Now I have two patterns that are the same and I could do it again here, all right? And I have this baseline here. If I wanted to create a new group, I could drag this pattern over here. Now I have the same pattern as the baseline loaded up, and now I can load a sound there. So get used to using option and drag because, for example, if you want to create variations in your drums, I typically use option drag and I'll create multiple patterns, 
and then I'll start deleting things like this to create my scenes. So now I have these variations. Number 12 is to press E to turn your cursor here into a pencil, and then you could draw in notes. So if I have this pattern going here, let's imagine I want to add a bunch of claps right here. I could press E, and now I could draw in notes like this. Control Z to undo that. Let's undo that. We'll press E. Let's change the resolution here by using the keyboard number shortcut set we learned. So if I press three here, now I have quarter bars. And when I press E and I draw these in, now I draw them in at one fourth, okay? So it's a quick way to draw in notes with your mouse. Press E to deactivate it as well. Shortcut 13, another way to duplicate pattern, Command D. You could do that. You could do it to this one. So if you, want to, if you don't want to do the option drag thing, you can do Command D. And you could do that as well in here. So if I want to copy this note, I'll do Command D, and I could keep doing that, right? Or let's see, if I want to copy these three right here, Command D, and now you've copied all three, and you can move these all around like you like. Shortcut tip number 14 is that you should use Shift in your mouse to select multiple things at once. So imagine I want to put all these in the same choke group. I could use Shift and go right there. Now all of these are selected, and I could put these in the same choke group or the same link group. I could do it right there, right there, so that becomes useful. Also in the mixer, if I'm trying to reroute things, for example, say if I put an effect on here, I could select this, hold shift, click there. Now all three of these are selected. And now I could change the uh, the output. Say that this has an effect on it and I'm sending it there. Now you can see all of these get sent, right? So that's shift in using your mouse to select. Tip number 15 is that you could reset these parameter knobs in here by double clicking them after you've made changes. So imagine I have this pitch panel and this kick. Right now it's set to this. If I turn this up, I want to quickly go back to the default value it was at. I may have forgotten after doing a bunch of other things. All I have to do is double click and it goes back to that default value. So that could be really useful once you start adjusting a bunch of parameters and you may want to take back some of the adjustments that you've made. Those are 15 keyboard and mouse shortcuts in machine that I use the most often. Hopefully you could pick up some of these and improve the speed of your workflow. I'll get going on the next tutorial and I'll see you then.